Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today, we will look at connectivity settings such as mobile data, hotspot and Wi-Fi. Tap the settings icon at the bottom of the home screen to enter the vehicle's connectivity settings. Tap all settings. Tap connectivity. Connectivity settings include Bluetooth, mobile data, hotspot, Wi-Fi, Android device settings, and Apple device settings. And at the end there is about. Tap about to view the vehicle MAC address and vehicle IMEI. MAC address and IMEI are important to get a SIM card, so take a picture or take a note. The SIM card size for Land Rover vehicles is micro. It is not nano size that is usually used in smartphone. Do not use the adapter to fit the size. It may cause malfunction. There is a SIM card slot inside the center console box. Insert the SIM card in the slot as shown. Press reset to bring up this pop-up window. Press yes to reset all the content and settings of the connectivity. Let's go back to the previous screen and insert the SIM card into the vehicle and view the mobile data. To the right of the mobile data is a switch icon. Slide it to the right to activate it. Agree to the terms and conditions. The three dots will now start to move in the upper right corner of the screen. Under mobile data, the following information will be changed from reading SIM to mobile settings. If the SIM card is successfully connected to the vehicle, it will appear as a 4G icon shaped like an antenna. If you activate the mobile data switch and three dots do not appear and you see a no connection icon, the vehicle may not recognize it or may be broken. If three dots move and you see the no connection icon, try turning the switch off two or three times. If you still can't connect, it's likely a problem with the SIM card. SIM card must be used for mobile phones. Tablet use is not recognized in the vehicle. Once you've successfully connected your SIM card, let's tap on your mobile data to see the settings. First of all, network provider. You can enable it automatically and check the network provider name. You can enable or disable roaming settings. If you enable the usage limit, you can set the following. Tap the setting below to set the usage limit. If you press usage limit, a number pad like this appears. Enter as much usage as you want on the number pad, and then press OK. The usage has been changed to the newly set usage. You can also change units. Choose between megabyte and gigabyte next to the number pad. Press OK to display usage in the newly set unit. You can have the usage reset automatically in the monthly reset date column. You can set from 1 day to 31 days. You can reset the usage manually by pressing the reset counter. You can set or change the pin on the SIM card. Select off to clear the pin. Next is the hotspot. Activate the switch icon to the right of the hotspot and tap the hotspot item to display its name and password. Tap the reset icon at the bottom of the screen to change your password. The name does not change. Hotspot is the distribution of vehicle data to devices. Let's connect with a smartphone. Open your smartphone's Wi-Fi settings. Find the name of your car's hotspot settings and enter the hotspot password. Your smartphone is now connected to your car's hotspot. You can use your car's data on your smartphone. Next is Wi-Fi. Activate the switch icon on the right side of the Wi-Fi and accept the terms and conditions. Wi-Fi, in contrast to hotspot, is the sharing of your smartphone's data into vehicle. Open your smartphone's hotspot settings and activate. Check the smartphone's hotspot password and tap the Wi-Fi item on the car. Check and tap your smartphone name. Enter your smartphone's hotspot password, then tap OK. 
After a few moments, your smartphone will display a hotspot connection, and the car will inform you that you are connected. In the top right corner of the vehicle screen, you will see a Wi-Fi connection icon. Even if your car has an internet connection with a SIM card, the Wi-Fi connection comes first. Disabling the Wi-Fi connection will automatically connect you to your mobile data. So far, we've learned about SIM card insertion, mobile data, hotspot, and Wi-Fi connections. We will learn more about Android and Apple devices settings soon. In the next video, we will talk about Bluetooth connectivity. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.